What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Coach Brad. Today I'm going to show you an eccentric stretch for your quads. This could be done with just body weight or you can add a dumbbell or kettlebell or something later on if you're feeling more confident. Um, this is I believe called the genie sit. I learned it as the genie raise once upon a time. This is like a really old school move now and you won't see this done very often. So if you're looking for something a little different, it's fun to try. So you're going to Take up tall kneeling position, both knees down. Notice my toes are curled under slightly. A couple really important things. One, you want to fully engage your glutes, so keep them contracted like you're pushing your belt buckle forward. Two, your abdominals are tight. You're basically holding isometric tension, just like a plank. Just think of it as a kneeling plank. Third thing, we're going to keep our arms crossed on the chest. And keeping those glutes on, you're going to try to pivot at the knee to lean backward ever so slowly. Obviously, that's going to increase pressure on your toes. And your toes will probably be the more limiting factor as to how far back you can go. So glutes on, leaning back, core is engaged, staying tall, long spine, pull back up. So you'll notice as you do a couple that there's a point where if you go back any further, it's either going to be very uncomfortable for you. Um, obviously, if you feel any sudden pain in your knee or anything like that, please stop and do a different exercise. But also, we don't want to go so far back that we feel like we're going to fall backwards. It's not about that. We just want a mild to moderate stretch of the quads. All right, so this is where you should feel maybe a little fatigue or a little burn or a little stretch sensation right up here. Um, <clears throat> so, and I mentioned this is an eccentric stretch. Yes, there's movement, but there is such a thing as a moving stretch, and this is a perfect example of that. So all I mean by eccentric is the muscle is not shortening under load, it is lengthening under load. That's what eccentric means. Shortening under load is concentric. Now, most people do their exercises where they're shortening under load, bicep curl. You're working the bicep, you're making it shorten while lifting up a weight. That's concentric. So eccentric, we're increasing the length just slightly, but it's quite challenging and you'll feel it. All right, try a set of 10 and let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.